What is up everybody, JT Dangerous here once again. I am here to do my New Japan Pro Wrestling's New Beginning in Miami 2020 predictions. Now, New Beginning in Miami happens this Thursday, live on NewJapanWorld.com from the Charles F. Doyle City Center in Miami, Florida. Now, this card for this fourth event in this New Beginning Tour for New Japan Pro Wrestling in Miami is pretty stacked. We have seven big matches, so I am extremely excited to do my New Beginning in Miami predictions for you guys, and I hope you guys do enjoy. Now, this is the first video in a combined five video day on our channel today, guys, so I hope you guys will be able to watch all these videos. Always show your support on the channel, as always, by watching these videos, super kicking those like buttons, hitting that notification bell, and commenting your picks and your opinions in the comment sections down below. Now, if this is your first time watching my channel today, as a first-time viewer, and this is your first video, boy, big to go, and if you're a huge New Japan Pro Wrestling fan like myself, and you're ready for this fourth show and this new beginning tour in Miami, Florida. Welcome to the Dangerous Alliance. I'm JT Dangerous. Hey, welcome to the club, because this club is... Just, just, two. Woo, woo, again, thank you guys so very much. Now, other than that, let's get right into these predictions. Let's start off with the first matchup. It is a tag team showdown on the one side. He is representing CMLL. He is Mysterioso. And his partner is representing Chaos. And he is head unto himself, Yoshihashi. And their opponents, consisting of the young lion Clark Connors and his partner, the very first winner of the WWE Cruiserweight Classic and the very first WWE Cruiserweight Champion and a former X Division Champion as well, he is TJ Perkins. So coming from me in this tag team showdown, I'm going to go with the team of Mysterioso and Headhunter Yoshihashi to defeat the team of Clark Connors and TJP by any means. And now the next matchup. It's another tag team showdown. On one side, you have the Young Lions team of Alex Coughlin and his partner, the 2019 Young Lions Cup winner. He is Carl Fredericks. And their opponents are both former IWGP heavyweight champions. They are the team of Blue Justice, Yuji Nagata, and strong arm himself, Satoshi Kojima. So coming from me in this tag team showdown, I'm going to go with the team of Blue Justice, Yuji Nagata, and strong arm, Satoshi Kojima, to defeat the team of Alex Coughlin and Carl Fredericks by any means. And now the next matchup. It is another tag team showdown on one side. They are representing the NWA and they are the reigning NWA tag team champions. They are Ricky Morton, Robert Gibson, the Dinosaur Rock and Roll Express. And their opponents, first, representing Chaos. He is the Sublime Master Thief, Toriano, and his partner is a former NWA National Champion, a former Ring of Honor Tag Team Champion. He is Colt Boom Boom Cabana. So coming from me in this tag team showdown, this better be the last time I see the Rock and Roll Express on a New Japan Pro Wrestling show because they're not part of New Japan Pro Wrestling. They are part of the NWA with their boring-ass NWA World Champion Nick Mildalvis. So this better be the last time I see the Rock and Roll Express on a New Japan Pro Wrestling show because... They're not part of New Japan Pro Wrestling, they're part of the NWA. And if you want to watch the NWA, you got to go on YouTube, on NWA Power, which they are obviously getting their asses kicked every, every Tuesday on YouTube by AEW Dark. So this better be the last time I see the Rock and Roll Express, because I cannot stand this team. And the fact that they are the NWA Tag Team Champions, when you have so many great talents in the NWA that could have been the Tag Team Champions, they give it to the Dinosaur Team. So coming from me... I'm going to go with the team, the Sublime Master Thief Toriyanu and Colt Boom Boom Cabana to defeat those damn dinosaurs, the Rock and Roll Express, by any means. And now the next matchup. It is a one-on-one -on -one showdown on one side. He is representing the LA Dojo, a former Young Lion from New Japan Pro Wrestling, and he is Ren Narita. And his opponent is the former Ring of Honor World Television Champion, the former IWGP Never Openweight Champion, and the former PWG Champion. He is the Hawaiian Juggernaut himself, Jeff Cobb. Now, this matchup is definitely big, especially for Ren Narita, a chance to knock off a former Never Openweight Champion, and he's looking to get a big win to start off his 2020. There is how you have Jeff Cobb looking to continue his winning ways in 2020. This has been a good year for him, a good, good way to start the year for Jeff Cobb after his very rough 2019 in Ring of Honor, but his, he had a very good showing in, in New Japan Pro Wrestling in 2019, and he's looking to start off 2020 with a big victory. So coming from me in this one-on-one -on -one showdown... Then Ren Narita is getting better and better each and every day, each and every time he's in the ring. But coming from me, he is going to take a rough tour of the island. So coming from me, I am taking the Hawaiian juggernaut Jeff Cobb to defeat Ren Narita by any means. 
And now the next matchup. It is another one-on-one -on -one showdown on one side. He is an international star around the world. He is Alex Zane. And his opponent is representing Suzuki Gun, Ichiban. And he is the former IWGP United States Champion. And if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. Everybody dies! Everybody dies! He is Murderhawk Monster in the American Psycho Lance Archer. Now this matchup is definitely big for Alex Zane because Alex Zane is coming off a huge upset victory over the reigning PWG heavyweight champion Bandito at Ring of Honor's Honor Reign Supreme in Concord, North Carolina. So Alex Zane is coming off his biggest victory of the year, and he's looking to get another big victory here. But it won't be easy. There is idea of Lance Archer looking to continue his road back to the IWGP US title, and he will take on he will put down anybody in this tour. And he is looking to make sure that everybody dies in this new beginning tour. So coming from me in this one-on-one -on -one showdown. Seeing Alex Zane beat Bandito was a shock because a lot of people didn't see him beating Bandito in his first his Ring of Honor debut. But coming from me, Alex Zane is dying. You better get a tombstone ready because I'm going to go with Murderhawk Monster Lance Archer to kill Alex Zane by any means. And now the next matchup. It is a six-man tag team showdown on one side. First, he is representing Chaos and he is the former eight-time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champion, and he is managing the brand new four-time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, Rapungi 3K. He is the king of sneaky style, Rocky Romero. And his partners are the reigning IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, consisting of the fourth generation David Finley, and his partner, the former two-time IWGP United States Champion. And if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is the flamboyant one, Juice Robinson, and they are Finn Juice. And their opponents are all representing the cutthroat era of... Bullet Club. Four, 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 four. Consisting of Bullet Club's one and true crown jewel, Chase Owens, the Master Hita Jado, and the Tokyo Pimps, Yujiro Takahashi. Now this matchup is definitely big because we do know Finn Juice will be defending the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Championships at New Beginning in Atlanta against G.O.D. So Finn, this Finn Juice team is definitely looking for some a big momentum win here going into their World Tag Team title sh defense. So coming from me in this six-man tag team battle... I think we know who the weakest link is in this six-man tag, and it's Giotto. No offense to the Master Hita, but coming from me, I'm going to go with the team of Rocky Romero and the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions Finn Juice to defeat the team of Giotto, Yujiro Takahashi, and Chase Owens by any means. And now, the main event. It is a huge tag team showdown on one side. First, he is the only man in New Japan Pro Wrestling history to win the New Japan Cup, the Best of Super Juniors Tournament, and the G1 Climax. He is the former IWGP Intercontinental Champion, one half of the Golden Lovers, and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about, and he is Kane Gaming's favorite wrestler. <laughs> Star 
partner is the only man in New Japan Pro Wrestling history to hold the IWGP Heavyweight title eight times. He is indeed the ace of the universe, and if you know his music, his old music, you'll know who I'm talking about. Hiroshi Tanahashi and their opponents are also representing the cutthroat era of And they are the former five-time IWGP heavyweight tag team champions in my opinion the best tag team in New Japan Pro Wrestling And if you know their music, you'll know who I'm talking about Consisting of the silverback, Tongaloa, and the good bad guy, Tomatonga, the Gorillas of Destiny, or God. Now, this is a money tag team main event. I mean, you have the former IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions facing quite possibly the next IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champion. So I know this one's going to be an absolute banger. Now starting off with the team of Kota Ibushi and Hiroshi Tanahashi, this is, the, this is going to be a very intriguing tag team. And, if, and for me, this is the ace tag team. Everybody was thinking it was going to be Okada and Tanahashi, the dream team. This is the dream team. Kota Ibushi and Hiroshi Tanahashi, the ace and the golden star. And for me, if they stay a tag team, I will say this right now. I think they're in the running to quite possibly win the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions in 2020. But Tana, uh, both guys are coming off losses at Wrestle Kingdom. Ibushi losing to Switchblade Jay White and losing to Okada and Tanahashi losing to Chris Jericho. So both guys were looking to rebound after a very rough Wrestle Kingdom this year. And they turn out to be, they're looking to be a tag team. And for me... This is the tag team that you guys got to, people are going to be looking out for because you have the the high fly ability of Kota Ibushi and the high fly ability of Hiroshi Tanahashi. And this matchup is big, big because they can win this matchup. They'll be right in line for a shot of the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team titles. There is how you have G.O.D. looking to get some momentum because we do know G.O.D. will be challenging Finn Juice in Atlanta for the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team titles. And they'll have their opportunity to once again be the tag team champs for the sixth time. Now, G.O.D. cannot look look past Tanahashi and Ibushi. They, gotta look, they, they cannot look ahead to Finn Juice in Atlanta. They got to look to Ibushi and Tanahashi here if they want to get back into the... Uh, back into the title picture and once again be the tag team champs. So, coming from me in this banger of a tag team main event, this one's tough because I love G.O.D., but I'm also a huge fan of Tanahashi and Golden Star Ibushi Kota, and this one's going to be good. It can go either way with both teams looking to get in position for a shot at the heavyweight tag team title. So, coming from me, I may get this one wrong. But I'm going to go with the team of the Golden Aces of Hiroshi Tanahashi and Golden Star Ibushi Kota to defeat the Gorillas of Destiny by any means in a banger. And those were my new beginning in Miami 2020 predictions. Now, I want to thank you guys so very much for watching this video today. Comment below, who do you have winning that huge tag team main event between Gold, uh, Golden Star Kota Ibushi and Hiroshi Tanahashi versus God? Who do you have winning that six-man tag between Rocky and Finjuice versus Bullet Club? Who do you have win winning between Alex Zane and Lance Archer? Who do you have winning between Ren Narita and Jeff Cobb? Let me know all of your picks and your opinions. Let's have a conversation about it. Of course, I'm always on to see your comment. Like it and, of course, reply right back to because comments are absolutely always welcome on this channel. Now, I do want to thank you guys so very much for watching this video today. Now, before you guys go, as always, you guys can never forget to do this. That like button, comment, share with your friends, of course, super kick that like button like only you guys can. Of course, you guys can never forget to do this as well. That subscribe button can part of this bigger and dangerous 
Dangerous Alliance, and I will see you guys later today for my New Japan Pro Wrestling's new beginning in Atlanta 2020 predictions. G.O.D. Finjuice and Ibushi Chase Owens. Later days, guys, and peace.